Because of my mother's magical cooking skills, I have a profound love for traditional Trinidadian food, especially her vegan dishes. So much that I've spent the last three decades trying to capture the unique taste of her cooking. I haven't shared this recipe in the nine years I've been blogging because like my other recipes, it's not perfect unless it tastes like home. My mother's or auntie's or nana's or nanny's cooking. I am now satisfied with my result and I'm happy to share this recipe with you today. I hope you enjoy this Trinidadian bhaji as much as I do. Morning Ma, what are you doing? Hi. But where are you? I'm home in the bed. Oh, why didn't I answer your home phone? You didn't answer your home phone. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you late by nine? Not too late. Probably like eight, nine o'clock. No. She sent you food? Chopped spinach. How much coconut I should use? For what? For, to make bhaji. Coconut? Yeah. And about a head of garlic? Yeah, but I'll come to do a bit, just a bit, yeah. One head of garlic is good, right? Yeah, but for the guys, like from. For today's delicious recipe, you'll need two 10 ounce boxes of chopped spinach and you'll find this in the frozen section of your supermarket. Make sure there's only one ingredient. You'll also need pure creamed coconut. You can also find this in the Caribbean section of the supermarket. Ensure there are no preservatives. And this is six ounces and I may only use half of this packet. A good substitute is canned coconut cream. The next ingredient is cumin, whole cumin, also known as jeera in Trinidad, and you'll need about a half teaspoon or according to your preference. Habanero or scotch bonnet peppers are the peppers of choice in the Caribbean and Trinidad. If you don't like it spicy, you can remove the seeds in this recipe. This recipe requires a whole lot of garlic. You'll need about three, six, nine, twelve, or thirteen cloves of garlic. And my mom says we need to use a lot of onion in this recipe as well, so we're using a large onion. You will also need extra virgin olive oil. We're only using good quality oil today to keep this super healthy. No canola or vegetable oil. I'll leave this to defrost completely and then I'll start cooking. First we'll add 6 to 8 tablespoons of the oil to a heavy bottom pot over medium heat. Next we'll add the cumin or the whole jeera and cook it until it's golden brown and aromatic. Next we'll add the sliced onion and the hot pepper. And we'll cook it until the onion is soft and translucent. About a minute or two. It's been cooking for about two minutes. I'm going to cook it for a minute more and then we'll add the garlic. Now I'll add the minced garlic. Give it a stir and I'll cook it for about a minute. 
or two. Make sure that it's spread evenly in the pot so that it will cook evenly. Clean down your sides. When I add the batch, you can add the coconut cream at the same time. Okay. How much water are you supposed to put? What do you mean a little bit of water? Yeah, Well, not a lot to cover. Maybe like a cup of water to cover it? Yeah, it's Okay. Now I'll add the chopped spinach, which we also call bhaji in Trinidad. And the coconut cream. We use fresh coconut milk or canned coconut cream or milk in this as well. And I'll give it a stir. And now I'll add one cup of water, cover it and allow it to cook until all the liquid evaporates. We'll also add some salt. Let me get the coke hot water and I'll be right back. We're adding, we're adding one cup of hot water. Uh -huh. And the salt. I'll start with one teaspoon of salt and I'll add more a little later on. I'll add another teaspoon of salt. And I'll cover it, raise the heat to medium, bring it to a boil, and then I'll lower the heat and cook until all this liquid has evaporated. Let me taste it. Yep, tastes pretty good. All right, I'll cover it now. So it's been cooking for about 18 minutes. I'll give it a stir and I'll return the cover and continue to cook for maybe about 15, 10 to 15 minutes more. Okay, so we left it a little too long. The bottom is getting brown, but that's okay. Didn't burn. Leave the cover off at this time. And then we'll just continue to cook. I would say five minutes more. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. What is the time? So it's been cooking for 11 minutes, 53. Plus seven is what? 60. So it's been cooking for about 30 minutes total. Let's give it a taste. Make sure it has enough salt. Mm, yep. It's still nice and fluffy. Hint of coconut and cumin. Might need a little touch more salt. I'm going to add a little pinch of salt. Two pinches. Okay. 
And that's it. Wobaji is done. It's great with dal and rice or just with plain sada roti or as a side dish you could call this cream spinach and eat it with a steak. I'm gonna take off the stove.